today we're going to be talking about reinventing yourself and how important it is to reinvent yourself and right, congratulations you have made it you're here you have made the first step like has equipped me and you with all of the necessary tools that we need to succeed just a 30 round is what we see and right in front of our face which is the most dense so this is the least likely what's really happening. It's the illusion to make it seem like this is the only thing that's happening. Most false, bogus reality to ever exist because it's all an illusion. Like life is layers of an illusion. The number one currency is energy. Reinventing yourself, being in control of your energy. Value being alone. So when you're valuing yourself being alone, Appreciate that time because that is your time to charge your battery. Get done what you need to get done. Get off your phone. Um, get done what you need to get done. Energy connects with your eyes, which connects with your purpose, your passion, and what is the point of being in the first place. Like, figure out what is your purpose, what is your point, what are you doing all this for? What are you building for? Get a vision board, visualize it, imagine it, and how do you feel? And how do you feel when you envision your goals and your purpose? Like, how does that make you feel? Like, how does that truly make you feel? And remind yourself of that every single day. Do it every single day. Like, don't let nothing stop you. And if you really want it, you'll get to it. There will be distractions because that's how this game, this is how this 3D game will be ran by distracting you from even creating a vision board, from even visualizing conversation by distracting and these distractions have nothing to do with you. And we all get caught up in this because this is the world we're brought into, but it's our job to lift the veil up. It's, we're, we live in an age of technology, we're in an age of Aquarius, so being ignorant is no longer an option. Like, in a few years, if you're ignorant, you're going to be punished for it. And it's not going to be like a minor punishment. It's going to be drastic. Talk to yourself. If you're not comfortable enough to talk to yourself yet, journal. Journaling is so freeing. It is so liberating. It's just so freeing. Like, to be able to just go back. When I see that thing move, we I switch we dark. fight less and we would talk more. When they say communication, say spaces, relations, I can tell, are, but I can never write my like wrongs unless down, I write them down for real. Fears. And when you read that, it will help you it will it will charge your battery to keep going. And it's gonna keep motivating you to keep your head strong and focus on what you need to focus on to get you where you wanna be. A lot of it was what is the purpose? What is the passion? Like, what is it? What is it that I truly want out of this life? And figuring out what it was, was like one of the hardest parts for me personally, and still is, but, not but. So, because this world throws so many options at us, like, it's crazy how many options we have out here, how many choices we have out here. Like, it's infinite. They make it seem like we have no choices, but this goes back to, you know, if you really want to, you will. Um, visualize what you want, figure out what you want, visualize it, how does that feel? And the more you think about how that made you feel, the more you think about how that made you feel, the more you think about how that makes you feel, you're going to attract that positive energy of you feeling in that moment of you. And once you, once you take your mind there by envisioning it, you're there. So attract that energy every day. Every day. This is why it's so important to heal and address trauma immediately or as soon as it comes to your attention. Because whatever vibrating frequency that you're on when you are holding on to that trauma, you will stay at that vibration until you decide to release that trauma. Every day, every day, every day. Attract that energy. Like working out in the gym. You have to show up every day and give it your all. 
some days are gonna be easy, some days are gonna be harder. Like, growth is not linear. You're not gonna feel like doing it some days. You're just not. Some days you're gonna work up with all the energy in the world. But I do wanna say, part of it is, a, a big chunk of it is sleep. Like, make sure your sleep is A1. What are you doing when you first get about the bed? Like, that's that's essential. Like, what are you doing as soon as you wake up? Like, we have to go to sleep. And I encourage everybody to do their research about sleep and how to get better sleep and all of that mumbo jump. You're in the age of technology, people. Anything and everything is possible. Your purpose, right? Figure out your morals, respect, integrity, and value. What are you willing to risk for these goals? Like, what are you willing to do for these goals? Like, are you willing to go down, down, down for those goals? Or are you willing to stay? I won't do this. Now, the more morals and integrity and respect that you have, the harder the game is. So the harder it is going for you to reach the goals. But the benefit to this is you will value the end goal a lot more than that if you don't have any morals and respect you'll get there a lot faster if you don't have morals and respect and integrity you'll get there a lot faster in this game but you won't value the end goal as much as if you have these qualities it's, life is just literally like a video game, I promise you. Like, it's crazy. You just have to master your energy and realize God, God is simply love. And you have to understand that God is in control no matter what. If God wasn't in control, I wouldn't be here right now. I literally would not be here right now. Like, God is so real. Like, he, God and... <laughs> God is so real, and I just want everybody to know that, and I just have to share that with everybody, like, God has been so good to me, God has been, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, God has been so good to me that I have no choice but to share that shit, you feel me, like, I don't mean to cuss, but shit, God has been good to me, baby. Like, I could go on and on and on and on and on. The peace that I have right now, the joy that I have right now, I have never felt like this in my life. But it took those hard times, going through those motherfucking hard times, to get this shit. Get this shit right here, to get this shit. For real. Anyways. And I had to go through some hard shit to find out what my purpose was. To figure out what my passion and what my love and what do I want to invest my energy into and what I don't want to invest my energy to who I choose to give my energy to and also those hard times allow me to realize I'm getting more into me right now I guess um it allowed me to read energy a lot like I I've always been special but going through certain things, it made me even more special. And right now I feel like my challenges are releasing judgment, not giving a fuck, and just being free and realizing this is, this is my only chance. This is my only chance to be me. And there's no time to waste. And I got like a revelation today. Like it made my stomach drop. Like, bitch, one day you finna be gone. One day you finna be out of here. And it's just like, I gotta make this shit worth it. Like, I gotta make this shit worth it. Like, I have to make this shit worth it. Like one day I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a goner. The fuck? Like the people I gotta leave my motherfucking mark, bitch. Like I gotta checkmate. I gotta I gotta do my shit. And how I do my shit is by helping people. Simple. Because the only impact that I'm gonna leave 
to my consciousness is human beings. My whole point of living is to help people. So I'm dedicating my life to art. And my stomach is twisting as I'm saying this because, but I'm not supposed, okay, so I, I will say this. Another thing I'm battling, I guess, is like a fear of death. And maybe that'll be another like topic for another day because like, mm, I don't know. I just feel like it should be because I feel like everybody to a certain extent fears death, including myself. I'm going to include in it and it, I feel like it's, it's the inevitable, but we don't know so many questions around it. But, but that's not the subject for today. So, or if y'all want a part two of reinventing yourself, if there's more that you would like me to talk about, feel free to drop that below. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about next, the next subject. And yeah, I really, really, really appreciate every single person that is watching. I'm just excited about the future. I'm excited about all of the things and all of the blessings that I am attracting. Because I am a blessing, so blessings are the only thing that are attracted to me. So you're a blessing if you're watching this, because I am a blessing. So we attracted each other as blessings. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys were able to get something out of this video. And I'm going to drink me some water. I thought I was going to say some wine. I'm going to drink me some water. Just relax and just appreciate the peace that I have abundantly. I recognize your fragrance. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you ain't never gotta say shit. Yeah, but that's all I have. Until next time. Everybody else faces. I show my little on an everyday basis. With poetic justice. Poetic justice. I told you that a flower bloom. I love bugs. I mean, I'm a poem. I love someone's dedicated to you.